With its beneficial properties, copper was the first metal to be utilized by ancient civilizations to meet their needs. In use for thousands of years, in all areas of daily life, copper has left its mark on the history of mankind. In the southeast Anatolia region, the finding of many burial mounds dating from the Copper Age, which began in 5500 BC, has shown that coppersmithing in this region dates back to ancient times. Although coppersmithing was present in Anatolia through the ages, it gained momentum during the Seljuk Empire, when important technical and artistic developments took place. During the Ottoman Empire, Gaziantep became one of the main centers for coppersmithing, while Adiyaman and Kilis produced and sold copperware to meet the requirements of the local people. As with all other handicrafts carried out in the region, coppersmithing benefited from the creativity of the local people and together with the high quality of the craftsmanship, this has led to a nationwide market. One of the secrets of the Southeast Anatolian cuisine, famous for its rich variety and flavors, is the use of local copper pots for cooking. The variety of copperware produced by Gaziantep, Adiaman and Kilis is endless. Pots for cooking and heating water. Shallow pans for heating and serving food. Water and yogurt containers. Copper containers for carrying hammam equipment. Pitchers used for face washing and performing ablutions. Decorative interior braziers. Trays for cooking desserts and serving pastry trays, tea trays, and serving trays, serving plates, With the development of new technology, new materials began to be used in the production of household and kitchen equipment. But as the realization dawned that copper was a healthy option, there was a revival in the copper industry. In the past, copperware could be found in the kitchen, the courtyard, the hammam, in fact, almost anywhere. But today, it is also seen in living rooms displayed as decorative items. Coppersmiths have used innovations to create ever more beautiful and decorative pieces, but traditional methods are still in use to produce cooking pans and coffee pots for those with a discerning taste. There are four techniques for copper pot production, casting, hammering, plating, and pressing. The ancient and time-consuming technique of hammering has been used for hundreds of years in Gaziantep, Adiaman, and Kilis, and is still in use today. Coppersmiths have mastered the art of creating products out of single sheets of copper by using a hammering technique alone without the use of soldering or welding. With each bang of the hammer, as the copper is shaped, a decorative pattern emerges. The master craftsmen of Gaziantep have become experts in the intricate decoration of their copperware. Once the product has been shaped, the decorative pattern is added using a hammer and steel chisel. The designs are all different but are based on 41 motifs reflecting the Seljuk and Ottoman periods. This stage can take days or even weeks to complete. The coppersmithing process in Gaziantep, which uses hammer and chisel, has been registered with the Turkish Patent Institute as a geographical indication. Tinsmiths provide the polishing for the copper products and therefore share a common fate with their fellow craftsmen. 
copper pots must be tin plated before being used in the kitchen. Coppersmithing offers proof of the productive Anatolian people's ability to turn metalwork into an art. It has become an integral part of our culture, producing both decorative and essential objects. Even though the use of copper in everyday objects is decreasing, its popularity as a decorative material continues, defying the ages.